So what do these pair of pants have to do with the book of Psalm, chapter 91? Well, I'm going to explain to you what happened to me a few days ago. If you take a look at these pants, these were the pants I was wearing when we were on our raft, which is uh, powered by a deep cell battery. And uh, there's a hole you'll see. And this is what happens when the deep cell battery leaks and battery acid touches clothing. And there's little speckles here. It burns a hole right through it. Unexpectedly, this brand new battery we bought started leaking and it was spilling everywhere. And actually, I did not notice it. My son did not notice it. Uh, it had gotten on the boat. It had gotten on me. It had gotten on my son's pants. And we found out once we were ashore and we started to lift the battery out, it started to just, the acid started to spew out. Uh, it was pretty traumatic. Uh, you don't want to touch battery acid. It'll burn a hole right through you. It'll deeply affect your skin. So uh, I brought it back to the store. I asked for a refund. I did not want to exchange it for a new one. I just wanted nothing to do with this battery. The guy at the counter that took the battery was very shaken up. He was just floundering as to what to do with this thing. He didn't want to touch it. Uh, it was, it was quite interesting. I was glad to let go of it and get my money back. And when, when I got home, we started noticing th these holes and one of my son's socks had a hole through it as well. And interestingly enough, uh, his pants uh, were, were purple actually. There were purple spots all over and they were supposed to look gray. And so we figured out that the battery acid had actually gotten all over his pants and he didn't even know it. But interestingly enough, not one hole formed in his pants. We put his pants in a bucket of water and his mother washed them and they're perfectly fine right now. He's wearing them again. So how did the battery acid that burned a hole through my pants, burned a hole through one of his socks, did not even touch his pants, did not even put a hole in his pants it didn't, touch, it didn't touch his skin. The hole that was in his sock, the hole that was in my pants did not lead to the battery acid getting in contact with our skin. We were perfectly fine, untouched by battery acid, which will burn skin, can do some serious damage, especially at that level. We, the boat itself was not damaged. We, you can see the purple stain that's on that it left on the side of the of the raft. It didn't put a hole in the raft. It could have easily put a hole in the raft, and the raft could have sunk. But it was again in perfect condition, just with some purple on it. Oh, well, it's a mystery. What does this have to do? All this with Psalm 91. Well, I believe that the Lord Jesus protected us that day, protected us from something very serious happening to, to us while we were on the water and to our bodies. He protected us from, from that acid. And these kind of things do happen when the Lord is with us and we trust the Lord and we put our faith in Him to be our protector, to defy the natural odds, to override, to protect us from things that would normally hurt someone. And does he do this? Yes, he does do this. I'm going to read to you one of the most powerful scriptures in the Bible. It comes from Psalm 91. This talks about the divine protection that God offers those who look to him, who make him their refuge, who run to him. I'd like you to listen with me. Listen very carefully. May this protection be here for you now. Receive it. Psalm 91, starting with verse 2. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. On Him I lean and rely, and in Him I confidently trust. For then He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. Then He will cover you with His pinions, and under His wings shall you trust and find refuge. His truth and His faithfulness are a shield and a buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror of the night, nor of the arrow, the evil plots and slanders of the wicked that flies by day, nor of the 
pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the destruction and sudden death that surprise and lay waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only a spectator shall you be, yourself inaccessible in the secret place of the Most High, as you witness the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your dwelling place. There shall no evil befall you, nor any plague or calamity come near your tent, for he will give his angels a special charge over you to accompany and defend and preserve you in all your ways of obedience and service. They shall bear you up on their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the and adder and the young the young lion and the serpent shall shall you trample underfoot because he has set his love upon me therefore i will deliver him i will set him on high because he knows and understands my name and has a personal knowledge of my mercy love and kindness trusts and relies on me knowing i will never forsake him no never he shall call upon me i will answer him I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. This is what the Lord is saying to you and to me. Trust in him, rely on him, and all these benefits that I read to you are yours today. Right now, receive it.